Welcome to another training on this channel. Today, we're going to be covering how to migrate your website from one domain to another domain. This works if you really want to transfer maybe the file of one domain to another domain. Maybe you don't want to use that domain anymore. You want to change the domain name. You can transfer all the site content from one domain to another domain. In one other video, I show you how to do that manually. You can do that in cPanel with your file manager, transfer all the files from one domain to another. In this video, we're going to cover how to do that using a plugin called Duplicator plugin that works well with WordPress website. So if you haven't checked out that other video, please check that other video. It, the link is in the description. So now let's show you how to migrate your website using Duplicator plugin. All right, before we begin, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on your notification. That way you're going to support me on this channel. So like I said, we're going to transfer the content of this website or migrate this website from this domain to another domain. So we migrate netplustraining.com to netplussystem.com. So that's what we're going to do. And you can see this is a very small website with about four posts. And this is the dashboard for the NetPlus training that we're going to transfer. And like I said, we use a plugin called Duplicator Plugin. So go to Plugins and click on Add New. And now let's find the Duplicator Migration Plugin. So type in Duplicator and search. And now you can see Duplicator WordPress Migration Plugin. So install the plugin. It's a very good plugin. I can see it has more than uh, 1 million downloads with five star rating out of 2000. So it's a very good one. So just install and activate. And now go to Duplicator and go to Packages. So this is where we're going to create the package from the false website. So just click on it and give it a name. It doesn't really matter. You can leave it at default, which is a month, a year, and of course the name of the website. So just leave it as it is, or you can just type in any name. And we'll go through four stages, the setup, the scan, the build, and then the package setup. So the storage, just leave it as it is. The archive is going to be where we have all the site content, plugin content, teams, and all that. And then the installer is the duplicator installer that we're going to use to extract when we upload to the new domain. So just click on next. And now it's going to scan your website, tell you if everything is good. And now you can see scan is complete. Now everything is good. So click on build to build every content on the first domain. So now it's going to build a package, zip up everything into one folder, archive folder. And you can see it's about 35 megabyte. And then of course the duplicator installer. So just click on both to download both to your system. So now you can see we've downloaded both the installer and the archive file, which contains all our NetPlus training content. So this is what we're going to transfer to cPanel. So now you can see both. So now go to your cPanel and log in and find your new domain, which is the netplussystem.com that we're going to transfer our website to. So go to file manager. Click on File Manager and locate the new domain. And of course, you can always use a service like FileZilla to transfer your content. But in this, we're going to use the File Manager in cPanel. And by the way, you can always 
take a look at the tutorial on file, uh, FileZilla that I have in the file section for those who don't know how to use FileZilla to upload file to cPanel. So now let's go to File Manager and now find the new domain that we're going to transfer to, in this case, netplussystem.com. And you can see, do not install anything like WordPress, just add your domain and leave everything the way it is. And now we're going to upload the installer and the archive to Netplus system. So install the installer too. And then it's going to take a while depending on the size of your first website. So make sure everything turns green and every file is uploaded. Now go back to file manager and now inside the domain just reload and now you can see we have the archive file and then the installer everything has been uploaded so we need to now create a database for the new domain we'll have all our file and the installer so now we need to create a database for the new domain so you can refresh go back to the network system the new domain you can see we have the installer we also have the archive file so Go back to your cPanel and scroll to database and click on my SQL database to create a database for the new domain. So click on it and now create a database. Just give it a name. In this case, I'm going to type in maybe WP dash maybe 490. You can give it anything, doesn't really matter. And click on next. And the second step. We're going to create a database users. I always use the same thing, so you can type in the same thing just to make sure that everything is the same thing that we don't get confused. So now create a, a password. You can type in manually or you can use the password generator. In this case, I'll click on password generator and just whatever it is, you can add more or leave it as it is. Make sure you check that and click on use password and then it's going to fill both the password and now create user then the third step is to approve all privileges just check all privileges and click on next step and then everything is done so make sure you the username and then database username you put it somewhere so just copy the whole thing and of course the password put it in a text file somewhere because we're going to need that when we are extracting the file in the new domain with the installer so you can refresh and now click on installer and this is where we're going to extract all the archive file on the new, on the new domain so we'll go through four steps the deployment just check that and click on next and now it's going to extract the archive file that we have extracted that we imported into the new domain and in the next step the host is going to be local host now the database and the user and the password that we just created when we created the new database just type it there the database put it there the username put it there and of course the password put it there and now we can copy go back paste it there database username and a password and then click to test database and everything is good it's going to going to have pass and good now we can click on next step and of course you can always confirm the server the name and the user just click on ok and then it's going to install the database and check the title of the new domain of course it can be the title of the old website the old domain just type in everything then confirm the url make sure it's complete it's correct then the part is also correct and you can now click on to the next step which is going to be the final step click on next and now it's going to process all data replacement and everything will be done and then if you see everything good it means all the 
file has been uploaded. Let's just click on the admin and it will give you the URL of your back end. So, of course, the username and password is going to be the username and password of the first domain. So, use that to log into your new domain. So, I'm going to get the password and username. I'm going to type it here admin pad, I think, for the old domain. I think it's admin pad. Yes, admin pad. admin pad and then the password paste it there and login so after login the we need to delete all the installer file but luckily this duplicator plugin is good it's going to delete everything for us the old one you have to delete yourself but this time around the new version it will delete everything for you and now you can visit your new front end just right click visit website visit the new and you can see everything it's now live all the content from the old domain net plus training is now on the new net plus system.com and that's all you need to do to transfer or migrate your website so the old website you can delete or do whatever you want but this is how to migrate your website using the duplicator plugin so i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification thank you and bye bye